SVS can be a great aid in transitioning from an instrument approach to visual or in conducting a visual approach in less than ideal conditions such as night or low visibility. Aligning the flight path marker with the runway representation ensures that the aircraft is tracking towards the runway both vertically and laterally. But beyond simply helping align the aircraft with the runway, SVS can also display how safe that alignment is. When the flight path marker is aligned with the runway threshold, where they both fall on the pitch scale tells us how steep our approach is. This is because geometry tells us that alternate angles, such as the angle below the horizon to the runway and the angle above the horizon from the runway, must be equal. Here, our descent path to the runway is following a 5.5 degree angle, well over the nominal 3 degrees. In this case, the risk is high rate of descent and airspeed potentially leading to a runway overrun. Here, our descent angle is about 2 degrees, or under a 3 degree angle. This kind of flat approach is unsafe due to the risk of striking terrain before the runway. As an example of how to use SVS to ensure that we're on our nominal 3 degree descent path, here we're approaching a runway that has no VASI or PAPI after conducting a VOR approach which will not provide us with vertical guidance. Flying level at MDA, we simply wait until the runway threshold has reached the minus 3 degree point. Once there, we pitch down until the flight path marker is on the runway threshold and are now following a normal 3 degree descent to the runway. 